Hi guys, this is Daily Wish here. Thank you so much for coming back on my channel and I hope you guys are doing awesome. Well, in today's video, we are going to talk about how to deal with daily life while you are manifesting your desire. So we are going to understand the deeper understanding of law of assumption. Um, and this is just going to help you in uh, dealing with 3D, first of all, yes. And the second one is... Um, where are you making the mistake you will also understand that part as well so let's understand the first part of neville goddard's teaching which is law of assumption that you are the creator of your reality but how do you create your reality you are always creating your reality through your imagination through the repetitive thoughts through the repetitive uh, feelings so yes these thoughts and feelings are also a kind of you know part of this whole process of imagination it is a part of your deliberate creation okay so the biggest point to remember here is that yes your imagination creates your reality which means that the 3d or the reality which you are facing or experiencing is also created by you at some point right but yes then there is a question which is but whatever i am facing right now in my 3d reality it is the complete opposite it is chaotic it is the negative reality <laughs> why is that so I'll tell you the problem. The biggest problem is we have not learned to observe our thoughts and which is why we are constantly manifesting things but unconsciously. And what is the result? As a result, you face the reality which was created by you unconsciously. Of course, it won't be aligned with your desire. Of course, it would be completely showing the opposite of your desire because the thoughts you chose to create the present reality were not at all related to your desire. Are you getting my point? For example, let me let me elaborate. For example, say you are looking for a nice lucrative job, but what have you been thinking all day long in these past days? The, the thoughts that you have been thinking about and you chose to think about was, I am jobless. I am still looking for a job. I don't have any money. Oh, well, no opportunities are knocking at my door yet. No, I'm not getting any interview calls etc 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 and now when this is what you have given to your subconscious mind to create your reality since this has been your dominant thought this is exactly what you'll be getting in your 3d no phone calls no emails and even if you receive certain calls from uh, some of the companies you might get rejected from there why because you kept on thinking i'm jobless i'm jobless i'm jobless and voila this is what you are going to get in fact your subconscious mind make sure that this sentence that i'm jobless i'm jobless should come true in your life because this is what subconscious mind does it does not understand the difference between the negative and the positive now the moment you understand that only you create your reality there is nobody else circumstances don't matter the people coming into your 3d reality they are a reflection of your internal thought everything that you see in your 3d reality it is first of all created by you only so accept this for a fact okay everything is your creation you the moment you understand this point you will understand the importance of being in that positive state of mind now let me quote one of the biggest biggest teaching of neville goddard as per neville goddard your imagination creates reality okay so your 3d is just showing you the physical form of your manifestation but in delayed form so whatever you have imagined with the uh, you know the positive state or the negative state it is going to be displayed in the 3d in its physical form that's it be it of any nature the good or the bad that you are experiencing in your 3d it is nothing but your own manifestation coming to you in its physical form okay so now we have to establish two important facts here number one your imagination creates your reality okay that's the number one fact that you need to accept right now number two is it is always happening it is happening 24 7 just like the way you are breathing and it's 100 percent easy and effortless now the moment you take control of your breathing cycle what happens 
you start doing conscious breathing and the results of this conscious breathing is totally different from your normal breathing for example you do the breathing technique consciously or whenever you are meditating on your breathing cycle you feel more relaxed more calm and more centered why because you are doing this activity consciously so what is the key to manifest all your desire the key is to take control of your imagination the key is to deliberately create things in your imagination and you enjoy the fulfillment of your desire so many times again first in your imagination that you feel completely saturated and how do you reach the point of saturation your saturation point only comes through the power of repetition the more you are repeating your imaginal act the faster you feel the saturation and that's it it that's it your job is done all right now let me give you another pro tip here once you reach the point of saturation which means you no longer feel the need of imagining your desired result anymore since you have experienced it so many times now at this point just pen down whatever you have experienced in this imagination this is the perfect timing for you to write everything what you have felt while experiencing the fulfillment of your desire just write it down you know pen down your emotion pen down each and everything that you have felt uh, while imagining your uh, fulfillment of your desire okay this is the time when you need to pen it down and once you have written it down once you have brought this imaginal act of yours in the form of physical words on that piece of paper now let it go now let your subconscious mind take over let your subconscious mind do its job to bring your desire in its physical form your job as a deliberate creator is finished you just need to sit back and relax have that unshakable faith which is also known as by the way the state of knowing that this is done your desire is a done deal it is done it is done it is done whatever you think about yourself you are going to only get that in the most effortless manner why because that's what you have done as a default programming of your subconscious mind so let's say this is what you think about yourself you think nah it's just way too difficult to get such a high paying job in this market guess what this is a done deal and you will only hear and see the same thing in your 3d on the contrary if you think i'm always the chosen one i'm always getting what i want because why not i am the exceptional one and only the best things are happening to me guess what this is also true and the 3d will also only conform the same thing to you so whatever your dominant state you choose to live in a day is what is going to create your reality that is why it is called the law of assumption because you choose deliberately to live in the state of wish fulfilled which is already been assumed that yes it is a done deal and now i choose to live in this state now it is totally your job to observe your thoughts all day long are you living in the state of lack of your desire or the state of fulfillment of your desire this is your job nobody is going to tell you that oh my god why are you thinking from the lack because this is your responsibility as a deliberate creator okay that's where you train yourself with persistence what do i mean by that i mean that you are persisting to be living in the end you are persisting in your own imaginal act you are persisting in your state of wish fulfilled even though your 3d is completely chaotic your 3d is completely opposite in nature this is the only key to get your desire in the physical form that do effortlessly all right your internal world is projected in your outside world so what is the key the key is to change this internal world first and when you have the choice of making the change in this internal world why not make it safe why not make it you know full of love full of abundance full of wealth full of prosperity and when you understand this that your internal world is the place of creation you 
आर दी क्रिएटर ऑफ दिस इंटरनल वर्ल्ड वेन यू नो दिस फॉर अ फैक्ट दिस इज वेन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट योर फिजिकल रियालिटी बिकॉज नाउ यू आर क्रिएटिंग एवरी थिंग डेलीबरेटली एंड दिस चेंज कैन ओनली बी डन बाई यू this change is always a deliberate choice given to you the more you make choices aligned to your desire the natural it becomes for you to manifest anything without lifting a finger that's it this is how you can get anything that you want in your 3d reality okay so yes i have given you step by step process to uh, manifest anything that you want and uh, yeah this was today's video i hope you like today's video in case if you did do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i come up with lots and lots of interesting stuff based on nevel godar's teaching so yes consider subscribing and if you are new to my channel if you are looking for a daily dose of Well, you can always follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is my daily way. And if you are looking for one-to-one -one session, one-to-one -one coaching session, the bookings are still open for the month of April. I I do have only I think three seats left. So if you are interested, you can always DM me. I'm there to support you. I'm there to help you with the process. And that's it. So yes, this was today's video. I'll be meeting you very very soon in the next video. Until then, please do take care of yourself and happy manifesting.